Hi guys and welcome to Motor Holly. So today we have Hector Plus with us. So it's not Hector because it gets a lot of changes like straight away. I mean, firstly in the grill, okay. So this motor right now is a one two liter turbo diesel engine, okay, which produces 170 PS of power and a 350 Newton meter of peak torque, okay. So now talking about the looks obviously it looks similar to the hector because it's based on the hector and uh, but it gets changes like uh, at the front led drls in the hector you get the sleek one and in this you get a thicker one and it gets something a lot of treatment in it you can look at this so it looks more better and fresh and revised and earlier in hector it was i mean indicator were also fitted in uh, these led drls but right now it has been shifted to down and these indicators are dynamic dynamic swipe indicators which swipe from inside to outside and you can look at these these are the headlights and below are the fog lamps with cornering function okay so earlier uh, hector was getting two beam headlights one was for the lower beam and another was the higher beam okay but now it gets single one and uh, both are fitted in it only okay so let's turn on the uh, turn of the car because it's making a lot of sound okay so let's more talk about the hector so it's all about how it looks at the front like yeah i mean now the uh, grill has been front grill has been revised now it doesn't get thick chrome line all surrounding it instead it gets this plano black treatment at the back and up front on the top it gets this sort of black chromish treatment which really looks nice you can look it's looking nice and the bumpers are tweaked one like you can look it's a lot more edgy and you can see the cuts creases everything a towing hook here parking sensors because it's a 360 degree you can see a camera here it's dirty right now yeah so the number plate here and these are the skid plates okay even the skid plates has been revised and lower half of the bumper now looks more it's it's now more sharp and edgy and definitely it looks more futuristic for sure look at these uh, indicators how it's looking LED DRLs, these are looking awesome. And without a doubt, it, we can say that the Hector Plus is more like mature one, and it looks more better. So this is of a plastic, okay, black plastic, and these are finished in silver. And you can see body cladding running all around, about the wheel arches, uh, door sills all around to give it obviously a SUV-ish look which it is uh, though it doesn't get the 4x4 and uh, these are the alloy wheels which you might have seen on the Hector the same alloy with the same size so these are the dual one dual tone alloys uh, at the back you get this piano black treatment and up front some silver treatment diamond cut you can say so these are the 21560 R17 size tire which is exactly the same in the which is also seen in the Hector LED DRLs in the OVMs camera because it gets the 360 degree camera so one more thing I wanted to tell you about the front so each and every light up front is a LED these are the full LED Indicators LED, uh, headlights LED, fog lamps LED, everything is LED up front. Even I guess, yeah, even at the rear also everything is LED. These are also LEDs. You get this chrome treatment at the top to give it a premium appeal. And you get this request sensor on both the side, for driver and driver both. Unlike the Korean siblings. So, you can look at these cladding running all around get this chrome finish with morris garages badging at the 
door door sills the wa half of the door is chrome strip chrome line is learning all the way and merging in the c pillar c pillar is blacked out even the b pillar is blacked out but not the a pillar so i did this roof rail also which is finished in silver but i don't think these are function i mean they are functional but not to carry much weight and even though one will carry because there is a panoramic sun at the top and mg logo at the back washer washer is here hidden okay these are the wipers which work quite well but the visibility at the back if you will just look from the i i rvm it's not that great okay so tail lights these are the full leds okay and these are the indicators with the dynamic swipe swiping from inside to outside hector plus badging here chrome you can see connecting both the tail lights earlier in hector you was it was seen that a red reflector was connecting both the tail lights but it has gone and now it looks more like mature and um, less sophisticated because earlier they have done a lot and you can look at the bumpers also have been to it at the rear also you know it's more bulging more you can see cuts increases more edge you can see even the this this your uh, skid plates have been revised and uh, your you get this dual fake exhaust a rear hector was getting only one fake exhaust one was functional but in this you get both the fake you can look at that the real one is here somewhere yeah but it's quite thick obviously it's 170 ps power generates i mean internet inside badging you know because it has internet inside so these are the leds indicators oh, sorry led uh, tail lights indicators and here you get the reverse light and then you might be asking what it is you might be thinking yeah it's a fog lamp i mean rare fog light no it's not a rare fog light it's it's above one is the indicators middle one is the reverse light and this red one is the obviously brake light then and this is the reflector okay only this part you get this sensors here and camera here and so you get this silver treatment at the back also chrome surrounded tips of the fake exhaust doing okay so then the question might be why there are two these of thing i mean parking lights indicators and the back, uh, reverse light so i'll show you firstly open the boot so it can be open via leg swipe okay you have to just swipe a leg at the low of the bumper and the boot will open and if you want to close you can close from here also or if you want uh, don't want to close from that i mean your hands are full you can just swipe at the uh, and it will close so now right now so you can see these are also leds everything is led here these are led these are led so let's talk about this why is this extra okay so see when the boot opens the tail light setup all go above so how will the oncoming traffic understand there is a car there is a hazard light uh, indicators on so here it is to remind you so it get this indicators parking lights so you can see brake light and a uh, reverse light so that is the reason i hope you guys understood and let's talk about the boot yeah boot is definitely decrease because now it's not a five seater it's now a six seater so you get these two seats extra at the third row uh, which consumes the whole boot space let's and you can just increase the boot with the this much effort only and the boot can be increased drastically and you get this ac vent for the third row on both the sides and a cup holder on the both the sides and a 12 volt charging socket not on the both uh, not on both side but only this side and on this side you get this 
air I mean fan controller okay you can put wide zone yeah the fan controller you can control the speed of fan from here you can turn it on or off also so you get this what it is yeah it's for seat belt that's it so the third passenger third row passenger can also get a get a seat uh, this your seat belt also so let it take the seats back and decrease the boot space so you get this is the triangle has a triangle and a toolkit that's it then the question might be where is the spare wheel so spare wheel is at the bottom which is a steel rim and not alloy i mean it's a smaller size so you can see then the body of the car Let's close the boot. You have to just swab, and the boot will close automatically. So let's get inside and talk more about this Hector Plus. So from side, I guess almost more or less, it looks the same as the Hector Plus. Oh, sorry, Hector. Okay. So let's get at the second door first. Key. Understand the space whether it has been increased or not. So, truly saying the space. Oh, sorry, my jeans has been gone. So yeah, the boot. I mean, space hasn't been increased because the wheelbase is same. Yeah, the size has been increased, but it's just because of the twig bumpers. That's it. So you can adjust this captain seat. It gets two captain seats at the middle row instead of a bench. Uh, you will get a bench. I mean, a seven-seater option, maybe later this year. Okay. So you get this two AC vents at the back, as the Hector get a storage for your phone or knickknack, whatever. Twelve volt. Oh, sorry, not twelve volt. USB port here to charge your phones. You get this retractable armrest, and more or less. The seat is quite comfortable. Obviously, it's a captain seat. It's almost the same as the front seats, driver and the co-driver. It has multi, a lot of adjustment options. From here, you can, if you want to slide at the back, you can increase your space, boot space. I mean, leg space. If you want the third passenger to get leg, I mean, space, you can just go ahead. So, like. If we go all the way back, it's a lot of space. <laughs> it's a lot of space, literally. But if there is a third passenger, I mean, I mean, passenger at the third row, it will be difficult for third row as well as for the middle. Until unless there is a children at the back, okay. So you can even adjust from here the recline angle. I mean, the most recline angle is this much. So it's a lot. So you can look, look how much it actually uh, declines. The most I'm saying, okay, it's the most reclining angle. Yeah, this is the most one. So almost like as the driver once declines, because it's the driver's seat only. So some changes, no, not some. So you can adjust height also of the headrest. So all the seats get. Adjustable headrest. So let's get at the third row. It would be a big task. Look at this space. I mean, I don't think that five, six years ch children also get a legs. I mean, thigh support. Let's check. Oh, oh my God! It's like I'm sitting at the floor. Okay. Though thankfully I get this. Uh, good head, almost good. Not for me at least five eight, five five nine near above. So it's good for me, and thankfully it gets adjustable headrest. But the thigh support, oh my god! <laughs> I don't think it's not lacking. It doesn't have thigh support. So that is the thing. Thankfully I get controller here. I can turn on my air conditioning. But so, yeah. It is a. Uh, and even a get a cup and a quarter glass here. Okay. 
yeah it's awesome okay so let's get at the front so you can look at the this was at the third row space it was good i mean i'm uh, not good <laughs> sorry i mean leg room is enough like if the thigh support was sufficient the leg room was not complainable i can say day for a one to two hour uh traveling but thigh support is lacking part and that was not adjusted all this leg check that okay it's not my leg is not coming see oh my god but it is not so let's get so you can look at the seats seat is quite comfortable i kid you not it is quite supportive even the third passenger third row seats are comfortable they are and finished in tan so it looks even more you can see the tan finish on the armrest i mean door side armrest infinity badging because it gets infinity speakers silver treatment here on the door handles piano black finish here and infinity badging there also so the music system is good so let's get at the front okay and talk more about getting in and out is a little bit task but not much task i would say to get this one liter bottle holder and some knick knack you want to keep mg badging here on the door so the door so let's get at the front Okay, so it feels quite solid, isn't it? See, yeah, it's solid. So let's talk about these things first. These are the. This is for the closing and opening of the mirror. And adjusting the right side mirror and left side mirror. Okay. This is for headlight leveling. This is for the intensity of the backlight level. Okay. This is for opening the boot. The boot can be opened with a press of a button, and can be closed also with a press of a button. You don't have to go at the back like I'll show you. Just press a button, and it will close automatically. So it gets six way adjustable, reclining, up front, rear, and height adjustment. Okay. So let's talk about more getting inside. So, okay, you get a commanding view. I mean, if you are tall enough, I'm not tall enough. Like you have a medium-sized height, you will be able to see the bonnet, which makes you feel like you are driving a big car. Let's turn off the air conditioning first. So, this is the steering wheel. MG logo here because it is the more scary at this car. Silver treatment here, leather wrapped, soft material is used. So it's quite soft. And this horn is decent, not too good. Decent sized. Doesn't feel like yeah, you are driving a 22 lakh car and the horn is not that good. So. Firstly, like let's increase the intensity. So this is the speedometer, RPM meter, you can say, or the tachometer, and you get and you can adjust the, the I mean MID display from here. So it's a digital unit. Okay, I'll show you. Almost all digital. This one is the digital, and these are the your manual. Okay, uh, sorry, not manual. These are the graphics. I mean, these uh, this is the digital. These are non-digital. Okay, so this is the steering. Little bit of a flat from the bottom. Silver treatment here. So this so this is to toggle this your infotainment system, which is quite humongous. 
so and this these one the right one okay for the cruise control and the left one is for the MID display and you can go a lot of information like you get this tire pressure monitoring system trip 1 trip 2 driving time range I mean oh my god it's a lot and you can like uh, pick up a call I mean like you will be notified from here only you don't have to go there and you can pick the call from here cut the call mute it change the track I mean increase decrease volume voice command so let's work for the voice command I'm here open sunroof so see that is a human thing actually hello MG hi how can I help close sunroof so it's a human thing that is so here you get this traction control off button see traction ESC off and a hazard button here I mean like to turn off this infotainment system increase the volume decrease the volume rear or this defogger front fogger defogger you get this USB for charging which is a 5 volt 2 ampere and a USB slot for the Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, sharing the media, aux and a little bit of space the thing is that you don't get okay you don't get wireless charger unlike the Korean siblings but you don't even get the uh, storage for keeping phone you can't even keep phone here also you get this two cup holders with illumination which looks awesome in the night 360 degree camera so it gets this 360 degree also you can see check surroundings this is for the front like if you go for the front now the front is showing and when you reverse now so a reverse is showing okay so that is the thing you get this this is for the front parking sensors and this is for the rear AC okay you get this armrest and under which you get this storage which is not a big one not much deep i would say but you get a 12 volt socket here that's it a glove box is seen here which gets a decent you get this mg nav uh, yeah, tissue papers a decent size glove box i'm talking about the material like yeah material is good but on the top you doesn't get soft even at the bottom it doesn't get the top, uh, soft material only this and that too it is covered with the leather like these dough pads okay this is covered with the leather that only makes it soft soft material is here and the hair which is quite nice only this part is the soft material these are not okay so you can look at the HC vents which is surrounded with the silver finish which looks awesome piano black finish here quitters with infinity badging because it's an infinity music system and you can see a dead pedal here clutch brake and accelerator pedal and it gets a six speed okay reverse is here you have to just go for reverse here so the 360 degree turned on and the one two three six manual handbrake and now let's talk about the air conditioning is just awesome it's decent enough good enough i would say so this system has a lot of ton of things okay you get the phone connection via bluetooth apple carplay android auto then i call i'm here okay okay come on get rid of this so you get this gun also file you can just save your document i mean uh, uh, save yeah, okay. sorry but i still didn't get that so uh, you can these in files you can save your songs also videos songs whatever you want to see you can play 
so and the music system also you can just so you can see you can play pictures also text also so it gets a lot of and even the air conditioning is from here only you can just increase the fan speed from here temperature you can increase temperature low the temperature and uh, you want recirculation air or fresh air and then from where you want air conditioning you can turn to auto also it will automatically i mean auto climate control you can see it eh? so it gets radio also so the music system is just awesome it's awesome like this one gets much more better so let's get to the phone you get navigation and build navigation which is by tom 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 it's a unique name <laughs> So, but it's not opening. It's quite lagging. I mean, when you play music, also it lags because I don't understand whether the sim, which sim it has been installed with, that actually has some or the other issues. So let get let's get back. Okay. So. You can see. you can adjust it obviously get connected card tag you can just connect your phone also so there is you can jaise multiplex mein so that was all about the interior and the exterior of this car i hope you guys did enjoyed it so guys this was my video of the mg hector plus i hope you guys did enjoyed it please like comment share subscribe whatever you want to do do it and uh, we will be back with more interesting videos and uh, and what just be safe drive safely